Welcome back to Feed the Beast Pyramid Reborn. Guys, we are back here, and we're going to get some good stuff going today. In fact, we've got some very important things to go to do today. We've played around with the idea of it in the last episode. If you guys haven't seen that, of course, you need to know what's going on. It's a very, very simple concept that we're doing here today. But today, I think what we are going to do is focus less on getting ourselves ahead in terms of getting resources, and more along of uh, getting uh, through the pack, and more along getting ahead in resources. I think that's... Yeah, I kind of messed up my words, but you, you know what I'm saying. Get a, get ourselves a good way of getting ourselves more bone meal, a good way of getting ourselves a bit more uh, of everything that we need. Food, uh, ma other materials, gold. I think those are some very important things that we need for this map, and I, I think we should get them out of the way sooner rather than later because that's the more efficient way of doing it. Now, I didn't actually mention, but you can see up the top right there, there's a, a clock. And the, the timer is going and ticking along because this pack is actually a pack that's designed to be speed run or speed ran. Speed ran? R run at speed. <laughs> and uh, I think the thing with this is, of course, we could be trying to go as fast as we can, uh, trying to complete the pack. But honestly, I mean, my kind of knowledge of mods isn't quite where it used to be. So I think we're using this more as a pack with a whole bunch of stuff to be able to learn from, but it'll be neat to see what that timer eventually becomes. But I'm going to hide it, for now, just because it's kind of been bugging me that it, it makes me feel like I'm uh, I'm always having to rush. Oh man, that could have been so cool if I'd got all those. Uh, yeah, oh snap. There we go. That'll, that'll explain why it didn't go. All right, so let's just make this, this place a little bit larger. You can see things falling down. So we got one... Man, that, that could have been the death of me. <laughs> there is actually a way to get our stuff back if we do mess up. So, uh, it's it's kind of painful. We have to wait for five minutes on a pressure plate. So, what is that? One, two, three, four. That's all we need. Yeah, it's kind of painful. But uh, if you if you do die in this map, there is at least a way to uh, a way to get your stuff back, which would be great if we did. And, and inevitably, I'm probably going to mess up at some point. Uh, not for any other reason, but... It's me, and I'm going to probably mess up at some point. So, there we go. Great. Alright, that'll be good for us for now. So, what we need to do is we need to get ourselves a mob farm. And that's a pretty simple thing to do when you see that we have some cursed earth. Where is it? There. Some cursed earth. Which uh, is something I've, I've seen, and I've never actually used it properly myself. Just played around with uh, with how it works, but never properly, properly played with it. So, what we're going to do today... And actually, I've just realized we've got to do that. Get these guys producing some stuff. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to get ourselves a mob farm, both here and in the nether. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So what we'll do, um, go in the middle here, move out a few blocks this way. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, 11. I'm pretty sure we need to be like 24 or 32, I'm pretty sure. We'll just go more or less. How about this? In fact, wait, cursed earth. Never mind. Wait, I'm being, I'm being, I'm going crazy here. Cursed earth. I'm pretty sure actually can be used right next to it practically. I'm pretty sure. Never mind. I'm going crazy. Yeah, we good. We good. We good. Don't worry. Cursed earth is actually very usable. Now I was thinking of a few ideas of how to do this, and I think we could go for a very simple one. Unless, of course, actually, unless we have some spikes or something to to damage mobs. So let's just have a look. Do we have Spikes, because we've got a we've got an iron uh, way of doing this. Iron spikes, we do, and the recipe seems to be the same as well. Do we have anything to push mobs? For instance, say, um, I think it's conveyor. No, this is actually can these? I don't know if oh well, we can't make them anyway. But I wonder if these. I can't remember if these can push mobs. I haven't actually played around with immersive engineering as much as I would love to have. Love to know about it because it seems like it's pretty important, and I think we could get our opportunity here. Uh, how about something to push? push mobs. Uh, that's not what I was looking for. That's not what I was looking for. That's not, ooh, that is potentially what we are looking for, but I think we need RF, which is not a big deal for that. And that's an absorption. That's actually really useful. Uh, pushes mobs in the facing direction can be modified with mob fan upgrades. Okay. Can we make it? It looks like we can. I think we could be good for this. Um, is that a block of redstone, which is just your normal redstone recipe? Just double checking. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can maybe test these out. I've never played around with these fans, so I I get a. I do have a hunch that they might be RF powered, which is not a big deal. But if it is, if it is, it's fine. We can we can sort it out. We've got these furnace generators already, which is great. We've even got that Seabeck generator if they don't take too much. Uh, and if not, if they're just redstone, uh, we we are great. We are <laughs> we are going to be very very good on that. So let's go ahead and make this. We need a little bit of. 
I saw some slabs, so let's get some slabs. Okay, cool. There we go. Alright. Great. And I guess we'll go to a, a multiple of three. No, no, no more there. Okay, cool. So we'll just cook these up and, and make ourselves the slabs. And then we also needed to get a redstone block, which is super simple. And what we'll do is I think, thinking of an idea, if this pushes, I'm pretty sure these push one block out on either side, but I, I may very well be wrong with that. But I want to test out whether or not that is the case, because if it is the case, it could it could mean we could have a bit more spawning area. But if not, it's not a big deal. Let's get ourselves the iron, uh, the iron spikes, which I think was, uh, if I remember correctly, this recipe. It was I'm pretty sure three swords, and we go like that with a one of those, and we'll just put those in there like that. Yeah, made way too many of these in, in my time already. So we've got them there. We will take these here. And should be just enough, I think. Cool. For one of these. Now, let's pop this down next to it and see what happens. And quickly move in case. Okay. Uh, I think I get the feeling these might actually be redstone powered now. Coming to look at it. I get the feeling, if this is, it's ridiculously overpowered for us right now, I guess. I can't see anything. Yeah, just redstone power. I can't see anything saying RF on that, so I can only assume it's got RF. Um, it doesn't take RF. So we're good there. So the other thing is also, we need to get ourselves a bit more dirt producing over here. So what, what do we have there? Redstone wise? I think we're good on the redstone for now. Let's drop some dirt in here and get dirt and iron being produced together there. And uh, I guess those can also go and do their thing. So there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one of those simple mob grinder things that you would normally see. Actually, I need, I'll need i take the dirt straight away. But I think we don't need them to be quite the way that you would expect them to be, where uh, where we hit the mobs. I, I think we'll be fine if we just have them hidden and not one block a half slab dropped. Because realistically... Oh, actually, I hope this goes far enough. Uh, realistically, the mobs are going to be getting dropped themselves, I think, if I am correct. So what is that? That is... I hope... A good number, so that's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One more out this way. There we go. Okay, good. So I think what's going to happen is the mobs are going to just go ahead and, and pretty much spawn and die immediately, which is great. That means we get all the drops immediately, and we don't have to worry about playing around at a mob farm for too much longer. So we'll go ahead and do and do this. And I think the important thing about this, which is where I make my mistakes in Skyblocks so often, is I don't get straight into automation, and then I end up spending so many like hours doing something that is reasonably menial, and I could have got away in the beginning. So looking at this sort of stuff, the cobblestone stuff I actually looked at before I started playing, and sadly, it looks like I, I need to get ourselves coal, which I can't work out a way to get coal to be able to produce one of these, these uh, nodes. Oh, can I type, please? Thank you. There we go. These transfer nodes. Uh, the pipes are super easy. Look at that. We've got 64 for that. Very easy. Uh, but I think the thing was the um, the upgrade, if there's the, is it upgrade? Can I search it? There we go. The upgrade for mining gold, we should be able to get today. And this over here, the resonator requires us to have these things here, which is where we're going to be held back, actually, and, and coal there. So it seems like it's going to take us a while before we can do them. But that's not a big deal. We'll, we'll get there eventually. So let's go ahead and get what's going to be collecting the mob drops. So we need a hopper. Right there, this is what we need for that hopper. So we'll quickly grab one of these. And I think if this does work, it's going to be one of the easiest mob farms we have made in a very long time. And it's going to be immediately effective. So there we go. And hopefully we've got the distance we need. And I'll get some of those. Keep two of them for safe, uh, safe keeping there. And I'll also take some of those. Just one of them. So we can have, so we can make some torches. It's probably a good idea to get torches straight away before I forget. So, torch, charcoal, thank you. Well, well, not torch, stick and charcoal. There we go. Alright, so what we need to do here is we need to drop the cursed earth, which I think will not spawn anything. We're about to find out, but I don't think it spawns anything if there's a high enough light level. And I'll just make super sure of that by placing one of these next to each of those. And then we need to go ahead and make ourselves a proper cage for this, for the mobs in here. So if we go up by three, in fact, you know what? 
I think it might just be better off for me to spread this out too. And I will tell you exactly why it's very important to spread it out by two. That is because we want spiders to grow in here as well. I think that would be a great thing for us to do. So we go ahead here, we get ourselves some dirt, and we should be good now for spiders. If it requires us to make two fans, hey, it wasn't that expensive. We'll be all right. So we get, get that there. Put these over here. And I think we'll be pretty good on on everything. Because unless there's a mob that doesn't doesn't grow, <laughs> doesn't spawn in the overworld. In which case, you know what, we'll figure that out eventually. Ooh, uh, you there. Yeah, that's that's that was a, a recipe for disaster right there so what i'm going to do very quickly actually before we overcommit to this i'm going to go ahead and put these in here put one of these fans around there like this and we'll see whether or not this fan will push us uh it will push out two blocks so if we go there there we've got a, a stopper so it looks like it doesn't get me here does it get me here um okay so it doesn't actually quite push me far enough so this is the distance the fan pushes me so i actually i need the spike to be in here so if we could just get rid of that there so the spike will have to be right over here and that's a good thing i checked that up even though now it's not going to be completely centered to this I think it's a worthwhile thing to have figured out. And it also looks like this over here uh, requires another one of these fans. So we'll get another one of those fans before we cage this in. We'll put the spikes down over here like this. In fact, if we do that, can I can I pick up cursed earth? Or does it come up as... Yeah, it comes up as dirt. That's that's fine. It's, it's spreading already. Uh, so we can get rid of these. Like that. And we'll put the hopper in over here and we'll need another one to go in there so this this i think is going to be a very easy mob farm very very simple and we need nothing else okay great there and there and of course we'll, we'll eventually need to get ourselves a proper a proper means of putting the items in like a chest or something like that so if we go like that this should push us this way we will make a little bit of a house thing for these guys so that they they do their stuff, and I don't think that uh, items can fall in there, so we'll, we'll be good. There, and three tall. Very important for the third one, with the, the Endermen. Now, the next thing that I think will be important for us is to go ahead and get some more gold. Well, get some gold at all. And as far as I'm aware, the only way we can do that is by going over into the Nether and getting ourselves a little bit of a zombie pigman farm, which is not going to be too difficult if this works. We can just duplicate this sort of thing over there, and we really don't even have to think about it because it's, it's going to be that simple. And it should it should function the same way if uh, if my knowledge of cursed earth is is uh, sufficient. So we'll go out this way. Be super careful with this. And what we need now is another one of those. Uh, oh, get them. Another one of these these mob fan things. So was it one of them? And. I think it was just that, 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 around one of these. Yeah, cool. And another one of them. Cool. All right, so this should hopefully be a working mob farm within a matter of minutes now. Uh, with the, within the next minute. So let's go ahead, get the chest down over here. Um, all right, I can, I can make that into a staircase, I guess. Yeah, I'll make that into a stair very quickly. Just because we, we're not going to be able to open the chest if not. So if we do that into a stair. And now we should be able to... We should be able... In fact, we have to go in here anyway. So we should be able to do it now. Get rid of that. Get that in there. And now... We, we can't forget them. They're there. And I'm pretty sure the Endermen won't drop their drops on the top there. If that's the case, I'll have to put blocks there or more spikes there. But I'm pretty sure the Endermen won't drop their drops up there. Because that's the, the third height. So if we go there, there, it opens great. And up here, we just have to close the roof off. And I think we are all done once we've got that done. So I told you, very easy. And if this if this all works, man, we, we are geniuses right here if this all works. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if this is, this is a smart idea, but it's smart for me, right? Oh, oh no. Oh no, we've run out, quick. Slabs. Good. Good. We, we're fine. 
and oh there we go okay cool so now we should have the mob farm that we need and we deserve so get rid of this torch and we should start hearing mobs spawn now is that right let's just do this okay that was the first one there was a creeper there hopefully that was loud enough okay i think we may very well have this yep listen to that oh man that is music to my ears oh look at that Mhm. Mm that's right gunpowder rotten flesh Man, I'm kind of proud of us. Look at that. Easy mob farm. Kind of looks disgusting and really ugly, but that's fine. It's it's what what's inside that matters. This is one of those times where it's really what's inside that is what we we what really matters. How are we going over here with iron and dirt? We are fantastic dirt. You can uh, you can pull down for today. Iron, keep doing your thing. And now, I guess, we've got these done. We have to go over to the nether, and I think this will be a fairly easy thing for me to do. I'm just going to go around to the nether and start going and building ourselves another little bit of gold farm. In fact, another thing I've just realized what we should be doing right now is going ahead and getting ourselves some passive mobs. Uh, maybe, may as well make our life a little bit easier. Don't worry about them a bit later, and I'm pretty sure passive mobs uh, require the actual distance. So we'll just go out some distance here. Not too close, not too far. In fact, I really don't want them to be too noisy because else we stand in the middle there. We're just going to hear passive mobs uh, bleating and, uh, what is it, uh, clucking, mooing, oinking, all of the the ings that we don't want them to be. So uh, we, we're probably best off just moving. Yeah, that's a good ing. <laughs> moving out this direction. So there, we're on 46, so let's just go up to like 35-ish I think would be good. Yeah, that's fine. So that, and we'll start moving out. One, two, three, four, five. Make that our central block. We'll do nine. There. Perfect. All right. So that should be exactly what we need to be able to get ourselves passive mobs, hostile mobs, and I think in general, move ourselves along through the pack. I'm pretty sure. So the next thing I want to do is get this over here. And move on into the nether. The nether, I think, is actually going to be probably the easiest part about today. Now that we've we figured out our problems here. And we, we've we pretty much got a, a pretty solid start. I'm, I'm really glad that I took some time before starting this series, of course, uh, to just have a look at the pack and, and see how we're going to be going through here. Because trust me, I could I could not think about these things as uh, as fast as I am with, with my current knowledge. Uh, and spread pasture seeds. Man, I love pasture, pasture seeds. They're so good. So while we're good here, let's also make a little bit of a fence to make sure our mobs don't bump each other off. That's a, that's a, always an advisable thing. We'll go up to seven over there, eight over there. And as I say, advised. Can I? I'm really bad at this. All right, at least there's that. And I can make my life so much easier by just doing it the right way. And we need a bit more as well. So those. Put whatever's left there in there. And there and now we should be good on good on fences i think there you go yeah 64 plus another two definitely fine on the fences after some time we have now figured out a few problems that we've had it hasn't actually been that long in fact let's do a quick time update right now 5305 okay just about 10 15 minutes since uh since i figured out one little issue that we've had which was that farm that we built which someone may be pointing out to me right now the hoppers actually do not quite meet up, so of course uh, I fixed that up. The, well, they they don't not let the uh, the light through. Sorry, my bad. They don't they don't quite meet up with our ideals of this farm, and uh, they they let the light go through. So what I've done is I've actually blocked them in, so they'll fill up. You can hear it. Yeah, you can hear very lightly. There's some mobs doing some stuff over there. Not really too cool. I tried these uh, barrels. They they didn't block the light, so. It's all right, I'll figure out a better way of doing it for now. The chests, sadly, just don't cut it. So uh, I'll have to manually empty that a little bit, which isn't too bad. No, nothing spawned over there. But what I have realized is I went all the way over into... Uh, also, we do have another little bit of update. We've got the copper and the tin doing their thing over there. Uh, we have gone over to the nether without what everything I needed. So let's get ourselves the spikes. And I'll show you what's going on there because 
it's a pretty neat little little farm there. And the cool thing about the nether is I don't really have to do anything about the light. So it works the way this farm was originally intended, which is even better. So there, one of those, and then three of them. We've got ourselves practically everything we need. There we go. Now it's time to be a little bit crazy. Go down quick. And again, there we go. Yeah, this is also a temporary squid farm. <laughs> So getting, we've got, I think, one ink sack. This one didn't drop one in, that got stuck on top of this portal. But last time I came down here, I picked up an ink sack as well, which may very well be useful to us at some stage. So I'll, I'll hold on to that for, uh, for safekeeping. So here we go. Hopefully nothing spawned. Great. And what we need to do here is we need to put, a, put ourselves a torch temporarily. Is that blazes or are those just ambient sounds? Get the feeling that's just the ambient sounds of the nether. And they, they're actually kind of freaky. <laughs> that is actually kind of scary. Uh, all right, so we've got this over here. We've got that over there. I want to move this. Uh, in fact, I don't even have to move this one more over. I think if I put a torch, if I put a, a spike in over here, that will allow me to still open that. Yes. Okay, good. We're fine. So if I put that spike in there, that's not going to help uh, worry us. The light level over here, if you have a look, light level is currently... 12 because of that but if I get rid of that it should be back to zero so we're, we're pretty good on the spikes and everything I'm pretty sure the distance we are good on as well so if I just get rid of that now I think I'm actually all right to just go ahead and put another spike in uh, I don't like the look of that even though I'm pretty sure it works yeah we lost it but hey do we really need it possibly <laughs> in fact I might just I might just stack these other this other spike in on on the other one so let's go ahead switch this on back here and we should hopefully start seeing some spawns of stuff in here when this when this gets a bit bit more filled up so i'll just do this just for for uh sake of feeling a bit better about what i've just done and closing it all off this over here yep yeah. uh i just heard a i just heard a pig man Oh no, okay. We are one too few. Look at this. We need to move these up one more. Alright. Please. Yeah, they don't just get angry at me because they're in the... Okay, that's one way to do it. <laughs> uh, here, we'll get rid of this guy. And you kind of get the picture. We need, to, we need to move these guys up one more. I've miscalculated by one block. Yep. Let's check what we get. Have we got, have we got some gold already? No gold, uh, but a bit of a bit of that stuff is good nonetheless. So here it's pretty simple. I just have to get rid of this. Sadly, we do lose one of those. I had another one of these, so that makes my life easier. And here we just need to collect that, collect that. And now it should be nice and easy for us to get the rest of this in. So simple. The nether one is so good. Look at that. So easy. So all we have to do is go there, there. That's, yeah, that covers it now. And get ourselves out of here. You go there, there, and now I'm pretty sure we can call this a success. I, I might be, I might be speaking a little bit too early, but I, I think we're good. So wait a second, I heard. Oh, <laughs> what what a derp I am! It's not gonna work if I don't switch the the fans on, right? So. Oh, that's music to my ears. Oh man, that is music to my ears. Look at that. Some golden nuggets. Which is where I think we may very well just leave this episode off. Because I think this is a successful episode. We've got ourselves all of the mob farms we need. Literally all three of them. Passive, hostile, and nether. Which is great. So I think what we'll do is we go ahead, call it an episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Because I'm having a bunch of fun just playing ahead, playing around in the skyblock pack of course my jam and not only that learning a few other things which i didn't actually know about which we will be getting to in the next few episodes so thank you very much for joining me along this one guys and i'll see you in the next one